Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius for September 2021. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign, okay? So I've already put out general readings and love readings for the month of September, but I thought as an additional thank you to you guys, um, I'd put extra love readings out there. So I hope you um, enjoy these. Um, I'm going to start off by shuffling with the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck today and then later on I'll be using some other oracle cards for additional messages as well, okay? So as always, if the reading resonates then that's awesome, if it doesn't then it's simply a message but there could be parts of the message that do resonate, okay? Um, so I could be obviously reading for yourself or it could pertain to your love interest, the one that's on your mind, etc. So um, just flip the roll and please use your own discernment in relation to that, okay? As I'm reading for uh, quite a few people, as this is also a general reading, okay? So what can we get for love, please, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus for September 2021? Angels of Love and Light, what can we please get for Sagittarius, please? Ooh, okay. Seven of Swords. Justice. Six of Pentacles in reverse. So, ooh. King of Cups sideways. Is that September? Ooh, okay. Queen of Wands in reverse. Interesting. Three more. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse. Oh my gosh. What's going on? One more for Sagittarius. Whew. Okay. We have Judgment in reverse. The Tower. I did see the Tower and I was thinking whether that was going to come out or not. But here it is at the bottom of the deck. What we don't see. Massive Tower moment. That has either happened or will happen or may be happening, um, etc. However, it resonates for you guys. So the signs that we have here on the table, um, obviously we have your energy here, um, Sagittarius. We have Aries, Leo, um, Sagittarius, obviously, um, fire energy with the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have Libra oh, and also Sagittarian energy, fire energy with judgment in reverse. We have um, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius here with the Seven of Swords, the Justice card. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the King of Cups and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, and Aries, Scorpio energy here with the Tower and we have the World in reverse. Okay, so there's a fixed sign. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus energy. Okay, interesting. Right. Okay. Oh, so um, obviously pertaining to you or your person, but please take however this resonates. The first, first of all, what's calling out for me is there's been a major tower moment that has occurred that potentially either you or your person has been dealing with has come out of the blue, um, it's knocked them or you for six and basically any kind of, um, anything built on a poor foundation is being completely destroyed in order to rebuild something brand new and to have some sort of enlightenment of a uh, situation. Now either you or your person could be dealing with um, a karmic, karmic partner or a karmic situation of sorts because we have here with the world in reverse you know there's an unfinished karmic lesson of sorts of what you do not see you do not see that they're having a major tower moment in their life potentially this person may have been very egotistical um the card just want to jump out of my hand there um but fate and destiny is coming into play to make sure a cycle is finishing you know, I'm getting the sense that um, <laughs> the, the, the whatever has been going on, it's been drawn out long enough. And so a massive tower moment is coming in or has come in or will come in, whatever way you want to call it, 
to finish off a cycle eventually but potentially there's going to be a lot of burdens coming in um, to make sure that um, either you or this person or whoever they're dealing with in another situation if it does pertain to a third party you know is coming to a completion eventually because um, I'm getting the sense that things are taking too long with all these delays um, whatever is happening though justice is definitely coming into play here the balancing of the scales there's been some sort of unfairness to do with um, somebody may not have been taking accountability for their particular actions potentially putting unfair blame on someone else or something else um, potentially causing confusion to do with a relationship or home situation, work, what have you. And therefore, there's potentially been a build of la a built up um, energy of lack of trust to do with um, connections. I'm getting multiple connections here. So there's getting the sense of um, someone may have been in denial about a connection or denying of a connection like not seeing the truth of the matter like not um going head on and realizing what is actually going on to do with the connection like somebody may not been taking accountability for their actions and i'm also getting a sense that if this is not you this is someone that you're dealing with they may be going through some sort of legal issues as of right now and there's going to be a win-win situation at sort there's going to eventually be some sort of fairness if there was unfairness to do with a connection i'm also getting that potentially if this does pertain to either you or your personal, if there being a third party, um, a karmic kind of situation, I'm getting that strongly because we have the Queen of Wands here in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, there may have been an affair of sorts, some sort of lies to do with um, some sort of infidelity I'm getting. And there may have been a lot of... Um, manipulation or mind games at play potentially here with the king of cups um like being a block to a connection moving moving forward um i'm getting the sense that you may feel a lot for this particular person but potentially you may like withdrawn or uh, retreated your energy um because you may have found out some sort of truth to do with um to do with uh I'm getting like a secret love affair so you you may have found out some sort of truth that someone else was with someone um, and they may not have been openly telling you that that's exactly what was going on maybe they portrayed themselves to be single and potentially they were not single um, and they may have been in another commitment of sorts and you could have potentially found out this person may have told some sort of lies or I'm also getting the sense that this person may have made been trying to make a choice between two partners or two lovers, okay? And this person, if they've gone through a particular separation with someone else, just be cautious that potentially they may want to come back around and have a, a reconciliation with you because... They may see that you have moved on from um, from them, potentially. If this is something pertaining like they told some sort of lies or they cheated or they want some sort of reconciliation or a second chance with you, like to ask for your forgiveness, then potentially you may be like, no, I'm not going to be dealing with that anymore. Um, I don't feel like you've changed your ways. Um, something's not really evident to me as of yet. You may not necessarily have learnt your lesson, so I'm not going, don't feel like the need to take you back or anything. I'm gonna move on for myself and potentially realize that it was an unhealthy relationship and might have left a relationship, okay? But don't feel bad about leaving, um, leaving that situation or letting someone else be out in the cold to do with it because justice or karmic justice is coming in for you um, or for your person. If there's been some sort of unfair treatment, like lack of equal give and take in a partnership, 
then something's going to go around in your favour or your person's favour in order to be able to move on forward eventually. Because someone's coming to, like, knowing of a truth to do with a, a situation. Like, there's going to be major enlightenment about a connection of sorts. Now, I'm getting the sense that there could have been a lot of manipulation here at play or someone trying to stir up trouble and you may just not be here for it potentially um so you could have withdrawn your love from this person but also i'm also getting this sense of like someone may have made an error in a judgment because somebody may have found out that they have had a secret life with this kind of king of cups sideways like potentially if there was to do with a long-term connection or long-term partnership maybe even a marriage someone could have had a lot like a secret life and they could have been um very selfish and potentially i'm sorry about the background the noises in the background it's um it's so hot here and i've had to have the windows open to get some air in this room because it's so warm um but I'm getting this sense that um, someone wants to trim trim a situation away. Like they want to kind of potentially cut it out of their life. I'm getting so many mixed messages here. But potentially there could be someone wanting to come in. Um, but they may come into your life. But they may be very hot and cold. They may see that you've moved on. And potentially this is kind of like tempting them even more to come back into your life. And you may just be like nope not having any of it and you're getting help on your side where something's going to go in your favor and potentially just be able to kind of move on forward away from that but somebody may give off the impression they have everything right to do with their finances um, and their stability but they don't they they don't they potentially don't have the control that they want of their finances in a particular way i'm also getting that potentially if you had put a lot of love into a connection with someone um you may have given more than you actually received and then you got this realization of that and potentially thought well why am i continuing to work on this situation i, I don't want to play games anymore you know this person there may i'm also getting that potentially that someone was wearing a mask with you or it could be a friend so if you were in a partnership or a long-term situation with someone and may have had a close friend nearby who potentially got involved with with either your person or something along those lines um there's lots of different messages here guys so please only take what resonates um when I looked up at the camera, I saw 1313. So potentially that could be something that you could look into um, if you have been seeing those numbers, but definitely look it up. But there will be eventually some sort of stability coming in for you. Um, but someone needs to close out a cycle, but you may be feeling relatively down right now, focusing on your finances. Now this is a, quite a complicated reading and it can pertain to lots of different situations. So I'm just, feeling really called to clarify some some cards here because this is quite a lot um what's going on with justice i want to know what's going on with justice here with it being upright for sagittarius i mean goodness what's going on here justice september Whew. what's going on Look at this, page of cups, somebody wanting to come forward and apologise. Look, apology. Ooh. You may be unsure about whether you can trust this apology or not. Because there may have been a lot of stinginess previously. Yeah, look, somebody, somebody feels unhopeful that they can fix things with you, potentially. That they can have a reconcile. So they're trying to come forward with an apology or maybe you're waiting on apology or you're kind of like, you're unhopeful that this person's going to come forward with an apology. 
and to make things right and balance it out with you. Yeah. Gosh, what else is going on here? But someone really needs to kind of go out of their way to make a difference and come forward towards you if this is something that could resonate. Here we've got the Emperor energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries who wants to come forward towards you and to maybe apologise. Yeah, look at that with the chariot. Like I showed it to you under the bottom of the deck and now it's here. Yeah, so you could be dealing with a Cancerian. Ooh, well, either that or an authority figure wants to come forward to help with a legal situation. Yeah, oh, see that just fell on the floor. Bear with us, sorry. Somebody who definitely sees you as their happiness and they want to make it right, but maybe they feel like depressed that they're not able to do that as of, as of yet. Yeah, there could be some sort of instability right now with the um, four of wands in reverse. Either you or someone's going through a difficult time. Potentially they want to reunite with you. A past person might want to reunite with you and apologise and bring justice to a situation and let you know that they've basically been depressed without you. Yeah, look at that, broke up the deck and we got the sun. So they've been depressed without you potentially here. They've been unstable in something, insecure. And they, they want to have a reunion with you potentially. Oh my gosh, what's going on with this judgment? Um, judgment in reverse. What's this? Um... Yeah, look at that heartbreak here with the three of swords. Somebody feels that potentially you may have moved on from them. There's been, there's definitely some sort of um, unresolved issues though. And no, I'm getting the sense there's not been very much communication either. Somebody wants to have a reunion, reconciliation. They want to kind of heal the heartbreak. Yeah, look at that. Reunion, reconciliation. They want to fix it and come back to you. Look at that. They're making plans to come back to you with the eight of cups in reverse. They, they want to have a new beginning here with the four wanting to show up. Oh my gosh, but I, this person could be very stressed right now. You do not see this, but they're stressed. Why is the Knight of Wands here and the Queen of Wands? What's this about? I mean, gosh. Yeah, you may have given up on a situation here. Seven of Wands in reverse. There could be other people coming in between your relationship or situation. Maybe you feel like, look, I've done with the drama. I'm calling it a day retreating after something may not necessarily have worked out here with the six of wands in reverse oh this they other people may have taken you for granted or they've taken your person for granted yeah it could have been an unsex unsuccessful like um fleeting um family home situation that didn't work out yeah there's a separation of sorts um, a breakup, infidelity here with the two of um, cups in reverse. I'm getting commitment issues as well. The light's being shone upon that. You're going to find out the truth to do with the situation and it's going to allow you to be able to heal and move on forward and go after your own wish fulfillment. Yeah. Okay. Wow. There are so many messages here, guys. So obviously, please only take what resonates uh, and leave the rest. We have the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards here. Um, so what's going on? What's going on here? Potentially if there's someone that wants to come back into your life, potentially you may be fearful that they're only coming back for their own kind of selfish gain because they've seen that you've moved on and they probably may not be relationship material anymore but you have their doubts that previously um that they can they can change things around they can do right by you i'm getting what's going on by sagittarius here separation sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of the future yeah they're this person's missing you <laughs> 
they're unsure about the future you may be feeling a bit unsure about what to do look at this third party situation interference seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up yeah so there could be definitely there's definitely third party interference here they may want to tell you that that's what they've been going through other people kind of meddling i'm getting oh. the runner yeah this person may have run away from you previously or been in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listen to their ego and you know kind of may have like been in and out of people's lives um kind of playing the field previously but they want to call you they want to call you and express some sort of feelings potentially like ask for your forgiveness build on something maybe ask you out on a date maybe even um to meet up with them for coffee but it's down to you about you know what you do but this person wants you to have trust and faith with them that they can turn things around look at that they want to meet up with you here with the coffee cup like i said that already yeah but potentially you may have um moved on to a new phase of your life you may have gone on to karma waters i'm getting you may have learned from the experience and you know you may be ascending to go with a new partnership potentially look at that twin flame energy you could be ascending like you could have gone through a karmic lesson with someone and then you're ascending to the next level where you're having this recognition of justice coming in for you and you could be meeting up with a divine counterpart here and then look at that unconditional love falling in love wow oh my gosh okay so lots of messages there anyway um Let's look into the uh, Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue and see what we can get here for Sagittarius. Gosh. Someone is absolutely trapped in their head, though, about a situation that they cause loads of drama, feeling relatively depressed. I'm getting the sense that there's some sort of um, betrayal is coming to light or it has come to light. flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others so yeah this person may be coming back to to flirt and you may be like not having any of it what else or there could be someone else like taking take coming forward look at this heart to heart conversations true love and it's safe for you to love or wanting to jump out And then trust here. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So somebody wants you to trust them. That they can make things right. That it's safe to love them. That they can be open and honest with a particular conversation. And that they were stuck in something. And they realise um, that, you're, that you're their happiness. Um, they want to fix things. They feel depressed without you. They want to move things forward. Um, they don't. It's, I'm getting like they don't want to be a, a player no more. So potentially, if this person was a bit of a player previously, they don't want to be that way. Inclined, yeah. Trust. This is your soulmate. Yeah, they want to engagement or be more involved in your life because they feel this passion for you. But regardless, it's like it's trying to stay optimistic that your love life can turn around, or they want to be optimistic that. The love between the two of you can turn around this is not gonna necessarily resonate with every single person out there that i'm reading for so please obviously use your own discernment because there's lots going on in this reading okay so i'm gonna finally let you guys um get some messages uh from the soulmates in separation unspoken love messages by the serendipity tarot okay so this could be what this person wants to say to you or what you want to say to them. It's a bit of a complicated read, guys. So, um, yes. <laughs> but this person wants to find common ground with you. I'm getting that. Somebody wants to find common ground. And they want to say to you that they're sorry for taking you for granted and getting the sense that they may have taken your relationship for granted. Potentially this person could have been relatively controlling. 
and cold with their emotions. Oh gosh, what else? Sagittarius. A part of me died when I let you go. Ooh, okay. What else? Judgment. I'm making the decision once and for all to turn this around. So yeah, they they they've been um, unaware of the, their actions or they made an error in judgment, but they're getting this clarity. Justice is coming in. Um, I'm getting karmic justice. They may have something coming on to them, and now they're realizing that they need to turn things around. I was dishonest with you and myself. I lived one big lie. Well, there you have it. Whew. I'm gonna take one more. Oh gosh. For Sagittarius, there we go. I never truly moved on, even though I appear so. Gosh. I was misguided, I was blinded, and could not see straight. Yes. I missed out on something so good, the next person you allow into your life is lucky. So potentially, yeah, you may have um, true love coming in. Or if it's not a different person, then this, this individual is having to really transform themselves and really step up to bring you a new fresh energy because you're not going to accept any of the BS that there was previously if this is something that resonates um, to you okay anyway guys that was um a lot <laughs> um i hope that even if parts of it resonated please leave us a comment uh like share and subscribe let us know um what's been going on with you guys um so yeah if you did enjoy the reading um thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching and um yeah <laughs> just yeah just um, hopefully see you guys again soon um, and take care. Bye for now.